It's now over a week since we announced the results of our ballot. Since then, we've met the Secretary of State for Education, Gillian Keegan, and civil servants in the Department for Education. On Saturday, Kevin and I got a letter from Gillian Keegan. Now, you might have hoped that it would have contained an offer which would have enabled us to suspend strike action on the 1st of February. Instead, it was a fishing expedition, seeking to show that we didn't meet all of the many requirements put on unions by the government. These are requirements which we are convinced that we have met. Astonishingly, the Secretary of State seems to be trying to prove that we didn't get the uh, results out quickly enough to employ us. Frankly, that stretches credibility. We knew we were going to get the results from our returning officer on Monday. We built a plan to get them out as quickly as possible. We sent those results to Gillian Keegan on Monday. We press released them. We put them on our website. 100,000 people joined our Facebook Live event. Gillian Keegan herself put information about our ballot results on the DFE website and emailed all schools about them on Monday. Frankly, there's no employer that didn't know on Monday evening that we had passed the thresholds. On Monday, we started two parallel processes of printing and posting and emailing notices to 6,000 employers. We began those processes as soon as we could, and certainly as soon as was reasonably practicable, which is what the law requires. And we were printing letters by Monday and emailing notices by Tuesday. What we hope is that Gillian Keegan stops this desperate effort to try and undermine the democratic vote of NEU members, and instead engages with us in trying to look for a solution to the problem of pay and funding in our schools, which is so damaging education. Uh, Kevin and I are available to meet Gillian Keegan anytime, any place, anywhere. But we want to finish with a message to our members. This smacks of desperation by the government. We want you to stay strong, to keep building for the 1st of February, to talk to your friends and your colleagues and your family about the justice of our cause. Together, we're strong and our argument is cutting through.